हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू नंद किशोर क्लासेस टूडेज लेक्चर इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग बिकॉज वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट डायग्नल इन डिटेल इन ईच टाइप ऑफ पैरलोग्राम्स लेट एस हैव ए लुक फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल फर्स्ट शेप वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी इज पैरलोग्राम एंड आफ्टर दैट आफ्टर दिस पैरलोग्राम वी विल बी स्टडिंग फॉर रेक्टेंगल रोमबस स्क्वायर and kite these five diagrams we are going to cover name of this shape is parallelogram i hope everybody knows it in a parallelogram opposite sides are parallel but in this video we are specifically going to talk about diagonals diagonals means joining the opposite vertex a and c b and d see here diagonals are one diagonal is ac and second diagonal is bd do remember one very important result for parallelogram i am going to write here diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other now meaning of this line when we say diagonals bisect each other that means let's suppose they are intersecting at point o bisecting word means splitting into two equal parts that means ac is bisecting bd and bd is bisecting ac both are bisecting each other it means that this ao and co are equal and this bo and do are equal and do remember in a parallelogram specifically this shaped diagonals are not equal i am specifically writing here that ac is not equal to bd now it means to say if ao is let's suppose 2 cm then co will also be 2 cm and for bd if bo is 3 cm then do is 3 cm ultimately see one diagonal length is 4 cm second diagonal length is 6 cm that is what the meaning of diagonals bisect each other now whatever is happening in parallelogram same thing i am taking second diagram which is rhombus because rhombus is nothing but a parallelogram only both are same the only difference is in parallelogram only opposite sides are equal whereas in rhombus each and every side is equal let me tell you the result about diagonals in case of rhombus see when we come to rhombus in rhombus diagonals no doubt they still bisect each other same way diagonals bisect each other but the only difference is diagonals perpendicularly bisect each other perpendicularly bisect each other now what does that mean that means this result is same this is same i am not writing exactly same ao is equal to bo yeah in this diagram ao is equal to co bo is equal to do exactly same result is there the only difference is about perpendicularly word now what's the meaning of perpendicularly bisect each other perpendicularly bisecting means at the center these angles are 90 degree which diagram i am talking about i am talking about rhombus at the center 90 degree angle is there so they are perpendicularly bisecting each other and in rhombus also diagonals are not equal same way so parallelogram and rhombus they have similarities the only difference is that diagonals of a rhombus perpendicularly bisect each other so this was the important point after parallelogram and rhombus i am moving to rectangle now rectangle and square just give me one minute let me draw the diagram rectangle like 
where opposite sides are equal but each angle is measure is 90 degree this is the only difference in parallelogram and rectangle in fact a parallelogram becomes a rectangle when its angles are 90 degree here also diagonals are ac and bd diagonals bisect each other i am not writing the complete line again here also diagonals bisect each other but whenever rectangle is there length of diagonals is also equal this is the difference in fact let me tell you one simple step whenever you have a diagram of four sides with each angle measure 90 degree like in rectangle each measure is 90 degree that means diagonals are equal if angle measures are not 90 degree diagonals are not equal so here diagonal lengths is also equal now what are the impact when diagonals are equal their halves are equal let's suppose this is 5 centimeter this is 5 this is 5 this is 5 in rectangle this situation will happen because length of diagonals is same if one length is 10 then obviously other is also 10 if both diagonals are of 10 centimeter length that means they will be divided in 5 and 5 so that's what we have done it's in rectangle now if i talk about this was the third shape next after rectangle i'm talking about square now what will happen in square what is the difference rhombus becomes a square when each angle is 90 degree the way parallelogram becomes a rectangle rhombus becomes a square what will happen let's have a look let me draw the diagonals ac and bd in square since each angle measure is 90 degree right so same result diagonal lengths are equal diagonal lengths are equal diagonals bisect each other also that means ao is equal to co and bo is equal to do is true bo is equal to do this is also true then what special similar case as that of rhombus diagonals perpendicularly bisect each other so in square you can note down that these angles are 90 degree at the center see this is not difficult it's very easy four diagrams we have studied fifth diagram i'm going to talk about kite let us talk about kite now see why we have selected diagonals as a topic because usually students gets confused they get confused and while attempting the questions in exams or even day-to-day -day classroom teaching also teachers need to explain again and again that is why i'm making this video so that each and every student can watch this video repeatedly and can you know note down the points because these points are nowhere available together on one page anyways let's talk about kite Now kite is this shape where upper two sides are equal and bottom two sides are lengths are equal. Let me give its name as ABCD again and let us draw its diagonal BD and AC. Now what happens here? One diagonal bisects another diagonal. Both are not bisecting each other. For example, you can clearly see AO is smaller than CO, right? That means AC is not being bisected. So what is happening? But AC bisects BD here. AD bisects BD means BD is divided into two equal parts. This BO and DO is equal. BO and DO are equal. And secondly, yes this angle is also 90 degree here in case of kite as well so whenever in questions it is required sometimes to use pythagoras theorem one should know that at the middle at the center where diagonals are intersecting they are intersecting perpendicularly and further only one diagonal is bisected not both of them i hope the concept of diagonals is clear to all and if you think that this video is helpful for others please like this video and share it with as maximum 
as possible students thank you so much